it's really easy for people to give us advice and tell us what we should be doing, what we shouldn't be doing, how to change what we're doing. But in reality, it all depends on who they are and why on earth we might believe that they can help us. So this is who I am and this is why I believe I can help you with your studies. To start with, I am a chartered accountant, qualified in South Africa, South African Institute of Chartered Accountants. This is really important because I've gone through the process. Uh, as a student, through the entire journey of qualifying as a professional accountant, I understand the technical stuff, been there, done that, uh, worked as a CA, so I understand the professional journey, I understand what it is that, that we need to get through. Uh, I'm, I'm a qualified accountant. I am a teacher by nature, and what that means to me is that every piece of information I have, regardless of what it's about, uh, my first thought is always, hey, if, 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 if I've learned this or if I didn't know this, I wonder how many other people out there this can add value to. Uh, whatever happens to me, whatever I read, whatever I hear, I'm always thinking about whether or not someone else would be interested in this information. By specialism, I lecture auditing. I love the skills and the concepts that auditing has. I think it's it's horribly misunderstood, and I think if, if students just gave it a chance, they'd really love it a lot more, and they'd, they'd study it a lot less off the heart because, uh, you know, the more that you understand stuff and the more that you realize the value of it, the less you really need to memorize, you know, memorize the details and fall asleep during lectures, etc. So you need you need to give it a chance. Like, give me a chance, man. So, so I lecture auditing. Uh, and I spent a lot of time uh, on study coaching. And this is really, really important because I feel like this is your other major. You know, if you're studying accounting and financial management and taxation and tech and auditing, your other major is everything else about you. Who are you as a person, your personality, your mindset, your emotions, your life, your obligations, all of that stuff impacts everything you do. It impacts all your studies. Every morning that you wake up will impact, um, you know, how you feel every morning when you wake up impacts what you do that day. Impacts, you know, you could be sitting in an accounting lecture, but if, you're, if your mind's not there, if your mindset's not right, if you're fearful, if you're worried, if you're nervous, uh, that's that's going to change. You know, that's going to change your success. Uh, if you you know, if you're sitting at your desk and you end up spending more time studying theory than questions, uh, why are you doing that? Why do you resist doing questions? You know, the, the way that you study impacts absolutely everything. So I would say this stuff is like your your study coaching and understanding how to study your exam technique, all of that stuff. That's like your fifth major that nobody gives you a textbook on. Nobody gives you classes on. And that's, that's what I'm here for. I work from home and this is important to, um, this is important to state because uh, I love the fact that I don't have to sit in traffic and I love the fact that, you know, I have, I have a view, we live by, by the ocean, so um, I have a beautiful view of the ocean, but the downside of that is that by the ocean are a lot of seagulls, which are really, really, really noisy. And um, I have two cats who love being the center of attention. And I've absolutely given up trying to keep them out of my videos uh, um, and out of the work that I do. So you're going to see little ears and you're going to hear, you're going to hear cats and you're going to see cats. So I apologize in advance. <laughs> As a student, I was absolutely not a perfect student. I was a part-time student. And I studied distance learning. This means that on top of just having to get through the exam, I had to balance life, work, studies, um, family obligations, financial obligations, as well as just having a set of material that I had to figure out, you know, how to get from all this material into, you know, into passing an exam adds an enormous amount of stress to, to anyone's studies. And I really struggled with that. In South Africa, your your chartered accountant qualification ideally can be done in seven years. It took me 11 years um, because of these types of things, because I didn't have anyone explaining to me what on earth was going on. I didn't have anyone telling me it's time to change your habits. I, I kept the same study habits far longer than I should have. I didn't understand. I didn't even know what exam technique was, never mind how on earth to apply it and how that should be impacting my studies. I felt stupid all the time. I was I didn't have classes until much later in my studies. Um, I didn't know there was anyone out there that could help me. Um, I felt so isolated. I felt so alone. And I, I had to work through all this information alone. Whenever I come across students, this is the same stuff. You know, I hear the same stuff again and again and again. And this is why I do what I do, because I know that I've been on the other side of the table. I struggled with that stuff and I spend a lot of time figuring out how and why and where that comes from and how to overcome that. And this is all, you know, that all influences my, that influences how I teach and influences how I coach students with their studying. Um, 
my struggles, how I overcame them, you know, how my my experience with thousands of students as a lecturer and all the reading and, and you know, all the reading and research and understanding I do and how we learn, who we are, how we work, personalities, etc., our exam technique, our study habits, etc. Uh, so that frames, you know, that frames who, who I am. I started lecturing part-time uh, so at nights and um, at nights and on weekends in my first year of articles. So I was balancing my articles as well as lecturing part-time as, as well as studying for my board exams. I certainly didn't make life easy for myself. I had developed an absolute passion for, for, for lecturing really, really early on. And there's just absolutely nothing more fulfilling than simplifying something for students and making them understand something that they didn't really get before or just making their journey a tiny little bit easier than, than it was originally. Uh, I spend a lot of time creating information on my blog and, you know, videos and online courses because, because of my experience as a student, you know, if you don't have access to a, you know, if you don't have access to a community, if you're not sitting inside a class, where do you get information from? You know, who do you get information from? Who's helping you through this journey? Uh, are you doing this on your own? And technology is just amazing. It's really exciting to be able to reach so many more people than I would if I was just lecturing in a classroom. You'll see in, in a lot of places that I have the, the quote, I wish someone had told me that. This is my philosophy behind my lecturing and my coaching and what I do, my blog and all the information that I give students, because there were so many times in my journey that I issued, and I uttered that phrase, why didn't someone tell me this? I wish someone had told me this. It would have made my life a lot easier. I would have made a different decision, a better decision, or it would have made my life a little bit easier. I never want another student to say that. So this is, this is why I do what I do. You know, I, I want to make sure that anything I know that can help you, I can pass on to you. Anything that I understand, anything that I've learned, I want to be able to pass on to you so that you never have to make that statement. You never have to say, I wish someone had told me that. Now, with this stuff, uh, this is all great and this is all wonderful, but a lot of this, you know, a lot of this is about more than just uh, motivational, make you feel good. I spend a lot of time challenging my students and challenging people on their habits, the way that they do things, their mindset, the challenges, etc. Because you know your professional journey is is incredibly challenging, and it requires a lot from you, and it requires you to examine who you are, interrogate, upgrade, improve, update your knowledge, etc., etc. Um, and that requires work. You know that's hard work. Sometimes it's pleasant, sometimes it's not so pleasant, but. Um, you know, from, from the bottom of my heart, I want to be able to help you, I want to be able to challenge you, and, and I want to be able to prevent you from making mistakes. I want to, I want to help you, I want to challenge you, uh, I want to give you this information and help you with the stuff so that you can challenge yourself, you know, so that you can go through the stuff and you, you know, you can learn the stuff that you need to learn in a good space, in a positive space, in a caring space. Um, so, you know, if you're, for those who are, for those who are just looking for feel good information and for motivational posters, this is probably not the right place for you. I will never tell students to do something just because I said so. Uh, as much as I challenge students, I will always explain why, where it comes from, how it works, uh, and, you know, why it's the smarter thing to do, because, you know, we can only change our habits and we only will engage in, and adopt different habits and different ways of thinking about things if we really if we really understand them and we really realize why they're important to us. We may not necessarily agree with them until we hear why it's important and, and where it comes from and how it works. And uh, then there's a possibility that we'll say, well, actually, now that you mention it, that does make a lot of sense. That, that is actually quite logical. So I will always explain why I'm doing what I'm doing. So for these reasons, I'm super intense about what I do. I love my students. This is who I am and this is why I do what I do.